Good morning, great one. Are you ready for our math lesson today? It's going to be about telling time. In our lesson, you will be able to tell time to the hour and half the hour using analog and digital clocks. Great one. Don't forget to answer your five minutes mental math quiz on CISO. Can you read this word, great one? Yes, it's Tim. What about now? Yes, it's time. Mm, what happened? Why did it change from Tim to time? Exactly. The magic E came in and changed the E to I from short to long. Amazing grade one. Give yourselves a big clap. Before starting our lesson, we are going to meet Mrs. Minutes and Mr. Hour. Say hello to them. As you can see, Mrs. Minutes is tall, but Mr. Hour is very short. Who can tell me how many minutes are in one hour? Yes, we have 60 minutes in one hour. And how many minutes are in half an hour? Mm. Amazing, I heard you. Yes, there are 30 minutes in half an hour. Are you ready to watch a video? Hi kids! Now we will learn telling time to the half hour. When the minute hand points at six, it is half past the hour because minute hand has moved halfway around the clock by then. Also, our hand points exactly halfway between two numbers when it's half past. Okay, let's try to figure out what's the time in this analog clock. The minute is pointing at six, so it's half past the hour. Now, half past what? The hour hand has moved halfway from nine towards 10. Look at the dotted line. That's pointing exactly halfway between nine and 10. So it is half past nine or 9.30. Let's take another example. Try to figure out what's the time in this analog clock. The minute hand is pointing at six. So it's half past the hour. Now, half past what? Our hour hand has moved halfway from one towards two. Look at the dotted line that's pointing exactly halfway between one and two. So, it is half past one or one thirty. Good. So what have we learned? We have learned when the minute hand points at six, it is half past the hour. Now, half past which hour? It is half past the hour towards which the hour hand has moved halfway. Also, we have two ways of telling the time to the half hour, like half past one or one thirty, half past two or two thirty, half past three or 3.30, half past four or 
Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed the video, Grade One. Now, who can tell me what did we learn from the video that we watched? Grade One, did you notice that Mrs. Minutes is tall? And the Minutes hand on the clock is the tallest hand. I want you to always remember that Mr. Hour is short. So, the hour hand on the clock is the shortest hand. An hour has 60 minutes. Before we move on, I just want to show you something. The word hour is written H-O-U-R, but we don't pronounce the H, okay? Keep that in mind. Now, let's read the time here. <clears throat> the short hand is on 10 and the tall hand is on 12. So that means it's 10 o'clock, okay? And as we said earlier, a half hour has 30 minutes. And that happens when Mrs. Minutes is on six. So here we can say that the time is 10, 30, which means half past 10. Now it's our turn to write the time together. Are you ready? I am. Here we can see that Mr. Hour is between 11 and 12. So we're going to write 11. And Mrs. Minutes is on the 6. So that means it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 minutes. So the time here is 11.30. Let's move on to number two. Mr. Hour is between 12 and one. So we're going to write 12. And Mrs. Minutes is on six again. And six, that means 30 minutes. So the time here is 12, 30, or we can say it's half past 12. I hope you understood. And the last one for today is number three, where Mr. Hour is on number four, and Mrs. Minutes is on 12. And that means it's 4 o'clock. I hope I made it easy for you, grade 1. Grade 1, who can tell me what time did we start our math lesson today? Yes, we started at 10 o'clock. Can anyone tell me what time is the clock below showing? Yes! Three o'clock! Amazing! For more practice grade one, find the Teach Time app on your iPad. Take a photo showing the following times and post it on CISO. 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock. I'll be waiting! And now, let us check our understanding by completing page 557 in our chapter 9 books. You can also find the page on CISO. Always remember to submit your work before 8 p.m. so you can get the dojo points and your Thursday certificate.